Crabman from Crabman Gaming here and today I am playing WWF Warzone on the PlayStation 1 and we're going to play the challenge mode as Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now there are 18 wrestlers you can choose from including some unlockables. There's the British Bulldog, Farouk, Goldust, Triple H, Mankind, The Rock, Ahmed Johnson, Bret Hart, Owen Hart, Undertaker, Ken Shamrock, Kane, Thrasher and Mosh. And you can create your own superstars along with Shawn Michaels. We're going to pick Stone Cold Steve Austin. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. This is how the story mode works here in Warzone. You've got to work your way up the TVs to the main event. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation Challenge. Press X to start. Oh, it's supposed to be the cross button, but I always call it X. Looks like it's me versus Owen. SummerSlam revisited Steve Austin versus Owen Hart. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. Hello everyone, I'm Vince McMahon. And I'm good old JR. What a matchup this will be. You have got to be careful. Owen can beat you in so many ways. He can do it all. He can take you out from any direction. Steve Austin is the toughest SOB in the WWE. Look at the ice cold stare in Austin's eye. Austin then walks to the ring. The camera does this big pan to the ring, which I actually quite like. I like the big sparklers as well, Christian style. And we should be off and away. Now in Attitude, they do a little taunt. There's a running Luther's press. This was released in August of 1998. And the move list is really exhaustive as well. So I pretty much had to write down all of the moves. And I'm pretty much looking down between each move. And I want to vary it up for you as well. Big body slam from Austin. I get the Cobra Clutch in. Here we go, the Million Dollar Dream, the Million Dollar Dream. And this is how you submit as well once this bar gets down to red. You can make them submit. Oops, why have I run the wrong way? Get the ropes. Another Luthez press. Try and hit a Samoan drop. What is a little bit annoying is like your move might be left and up, but then it might be if you change sides and then it's right and up. So you have to change depending on where you are. Try and go from belly to belly. And the tie ups have different moves as well. Right by the head. Let's try a rear chin lock. So this was well received, the game, this was the game before WWF Attitude, average of about 80 to 82, also released on the Nintendo 64. Oh man, I was trying to tie up, didn't work. Mixing it up. Big belly to belly, overhead suplex, what can we do on the head? Arm ridge. Maybe we'll try a single arm DDT after this as well. We'll try and keep these matches to about three minutes each. Didn't work. Against the rope. Oh, it's nowhere near. Big back body drop by Owen. Owen getting some momentum. Off the rope. Big clothesline. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. There we go, we're shooting him for that Samoan drop. Steve Austin now in complete control. There's no mercy in this match. Oh, where was he going? Raising the roof. Don't call Steve Austin has developed a huge fire. With the best drop. We're looking for the half crab. Looking for the half crab. Half crab is a good move. Well, that's a single left crab. But the half crab is a submission, and quite often. Oh, the cloverleaf. We're looking for the cloverleaf. 
Let's go for a big spine buster. I'm going the wrong way for the spine buster. Stunner, stunner, stunner. Oh, no. Once they're in the red, you've got you've got your finisher. There we go, there's the Stone Cold Stunner. Let's flip him over. Pin Owen. See you later, Owen. Stone Cold wins. Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold. And my favourite part is that Steve Austin wins by total blowout. That makes me laugh. We move up the TVs. You wear the headbangers. Well, they're not even on there. Mosh defeats Bret Hart. Oh my goodness, what an upset. It tells you what's happened in the other matches. I do like they move up and down as well. Ahmed makes a loser out of the rock. What else has happened? Shamrock dominates Farouk. I don't think you have to sit and watch all of these. That'd take forever. But anyway, we can go through a little bit of Austin's career. Goldust has beaten Shawn Michaels. So he was in WCW from 1991 to 1995, winning the TV title twice, the United States title twice, and the WCW tag titles once, and the NWA tag titles once with Brian Pillman, most famously known as the Hollywood Blondes. Welcome to the War Zone. This capacity crowd is on their feet. I'm Vince McMahon. I'm Jim Ross. We are looking forward to a good old time slobber knocker. I think that mankind may have left some of his sanity back in the boiler room. I think he may enjoy hurting himself more than his opponent. Steve Austin is one of the most dangerous men in the WWF today. That man is pure rascal. And over. And then Austin moved to ECW in 1995. He wasn't there for long, but challenged Mikey Whipwreck for the ECW Championship. Now you may remember in Attitude, they actually taunt each other before the match. Wasn't quite in this game just yet. Running clothesline from Austin. Hit him with the belly to belly. One overhead belly to belly. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Who's that? Oh, got me. Up now. Nice hammerlock from Austin and good technical wrestling. Who's that? Jocking for position. Ooh. DDT from Austin. DDT. He's down, he's down, he's down. Picked up wrench from Austin, let's try another one. I try and hit him in a row because then I don't have to remember any other moves. Oh, counted into a big power slam. You want to try and get your momentum meter as going as well, which... Hence the decrease, decrease if you get the same move over and over again. Your punches and kicks are generally pretty good. I tend not to block very much. Oh, got me down. Low blow ref. Where's the referee? There's no referee in the ring. Nice body slam. Got a rear chin lock on. Got my lovely list of moves down here. Try and help me as much as possible. Which I will show you quickly as well. I'll show you the menu screen. So here it is. So these are all the list of moves you have to try and remember, which I have written down. And then if you have if you tie up, then you've got another list as well. And kind of the single um, button moves beat the double and then beat the triple uh, moves unless you've got momentum going. So I'll try for a DDT, which I have to hit left and um, triangle to do that. 
which it did hit. Steve Austin gaining control now. He's only got one on his mind. Steve loses his grip. This weird clover leaf. This can this can get you a pretty early win. Probably not yet because mankind has done a few moves on me. But getting there. Oops, why am I going out of the ring? Alright, let's head out of the ring. I'm getting booed. Let's try and whip as well. Oh, it hasn't worked. Brainbuster on the floor. There's no mats out here, it's like an ECW match. Big fisherman suplex. Oh no, oh no, Brainbuster on the floor. I couldn't get counted out. I'm okay, in, in, in. Big DDT. Mankind is trying to get to his feet. Backs are on, but no one's home. Mankind in a world of hurt. The crowd is on its feet. Steve knows what they want. Nice hammerlock from us then. Probably should have done a few stomps before putting that on. And can I hit this spine buster for a while? There it is, big spine buster. Huge, huge spine buster. Huge spine buster. His brain's on vacation. Cloverleaf should probably get the job done. You can get this pain meter to the top before 10. Very unlikely for mankind to tap out, but he might do. And he does. Austin is your winner by total blowout. Look at him just get out the ring. It's all over. Stone Cold Steve Austin made that look easy. Mankind should go back to the gym and train. It takes more than you could ever imagine to become king of hearts such as myself. As a matter of fact, I doubt there's anybody on this whole planet that could train you enough to keep me down for a two count. Get out of the ring, you pathetic slob. You make me sick. We're into a grudge match. Austin versus Owen. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. Hello everyone, I'm Vince McMahon. And I'm good old JR. This one's gonna be a good old fashioned barn burner. Owen is lightning like quick. He's so quick he can turn the tide of a match with one move. And no sparklers for this match. This looks like it's on some sort of house show. But it's a hardcore match. At least the entrances are quick. Steve Austin is the toughest SOB in the WWF. Look at that ice cold stare. Oliver on Ruthless, Ice Dagger, Fang McFrost, or Chili McFreeze. Here he comes, Chili McFreeze, ready for his match. Come on, Chili. Just some information for you as well. Steve Austin actually beat Matt Hardy in his WWF TV debut on Monday Night Raw. So I bet that's something a lot of people didn't know. Oh, and stop blocking everything. Jockeying for position. Oh, big back body drop. Not like a torture, just a big camcorder. Oh hell yeah! I'm gonna pick stuff up. I've forgotten. Oh, there we go. Boom! Take that. Big leg drop, Hogan style. What you gonna do, brother? When Steve Austin runs wild on you with a huge power bomb. Hit him with a CRT TV. Oh yes. Weird clover leaf. Weird clover leaf. Oh no, it's the single leg Boston Crab. I was looking for my next move. Boom, down he goes. He's staggering around. He's just 
the target now. Oh, I'll take that, Owen. I'd love a keep up straight into another weapon shot. And the fans go nuts. Steve is giving them what they want. That's a high spell, SmackDown. Ring his bell. Owen is really taking a lot. Oh, he's busted wide open. I saw blood. I saw blood. Oh, headbutt. Japanese arm drag. Let's pick up the TV. We give him a running weapon shot. Oh, we can. Stunner! And it's over. No rate breaks in this match. Austin is the winner. Austin wins by total blowout. Complete victory for Steve Austin. Owen Hart never really had a chance. Still a long way to go. Mosh beats Farouk. Where's Mosh? He's all the way up there. Looks like Austin and The Rock had many, many feuds in the WWF. And then Austin signed with the WWF in 1995 and was there until his walkout in Welcome 2002. Of the great matchup. Domination. Domination. It's Rocky Maivia. Austin is cold, calculating, and very, very focused. That man is pure racks. The best part as well is if you go into the character biographies in the main screen and it shows all of their attributes, Rock has charisma, a charisma stat of three out of five, which is amazing. Lupez press, Lupez press. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, hell yeah. I do like the little taunts in between as well. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. Rocky Maivia is out cold. Oh, he's blocking. Oh, yes, belly to belly. Whip to the corner. Oops, didn't do anything. Discus close line from the rock. Still open Diamond Dallas page. He grabs him. Against the ropes. In the tire. Oh, some terrible wrestling from Austin here. Come on, Austin. What are you doing? Fisherman suplex. And that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. They hook it up. Stay here. Boom. Take that, bro. Million dollar dream. Million dollar dream. Oh, shoulder breaker, that was his original finisher along with a crossbody. Use that Survivor Series 96. Stone Cold Steve Austin is really showing he's been trained. Oh, pile driver. Got me. Ah. SDF, SDF, SDF you. It can be a bit of a button mashing affair at times. So you can chain a nice sequence together. But if they block it, it's, it's quite annoying. Rock is down, Rock is down. Dragon Sleeper. He put the hurt on Rocky Maivia. 
I'm trying to vary the moves up as well, so you're not just watching the same thing. Beautiful arm wrench. Not all the moves are named correctly either in the menu, so it can be a little bit tricky. Let's pick him up. Let's try and give him a brain buster. Oh, give him a DDT for some reason. There's the brain buster. Brain buster. Take that rock. I might put him in the um, clover leaf. Even though the clover leaf's not done correctly, but the clover leaf can bring you a victory. Sorry if you can hear button mashing. It is a button mashing kind of game. It's still the late 90s. It's 1998. That's it. Rock's going to be done. Austin wins. Off you go, Rock. A total victory for Steve Austin. Rocky Maivia got the beating of his life. Moved up the leaderboard. We're almost onto the second row of TVs. It's going to be against Ahmed Johnson. Bret Hart defeats Farouk. Justified. What else has happened? Shawn Michaels beats Gold Dust. Steve Austin versus Ahmed Johnson. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation. For over 50 years, the dominating force in professional wrestling. I'm Vince McMahon. And I'm good old JR. It ought to be a great matchup. Ahmed Johnson stands alone and he stands tall and wide. He's put together like a brick wall. I never really knew why he wore two sets of knee pads. He wore like knee pads and then knee pads again on his thighs. Which was a bit weird. Steve Austin is one of the most dangerous men in the WWF today. Whether you like him or you hate him, you have to admire the guts of Steve Austin. Steve Austin as well, six-time WWF champion, two-time Intercontinental champion, four-time tag team champion, once with Shawn Michaels, once with Dude Love, once with The Undertaker, and once with Triple H as the two-man power trip when they won the titles at Backlash 2001. King of the Ring winner in 1996, and he won the Royal Rumble in 1997, 1998, and 2001. says I just whipped your ass. He definitely did, Ahmed Johnson. Big T. You do a book of T over the letter T in WCW. Stone Cold said so. Oh yeah, just damage it. Off the ropes. Ahmed's with me. Ahmed's with me, but he's not done anything. He's gone for the discus clothesline. All I've done is the All I've done is the kick to the face, single leg crab. Landstorm will be proud. Well up the groaning. Oh, right out of the ring. Oh man. You bully. With those press. See if I can win one by count now. Well, that's long. Oh, no, he's going to get back in. Let's get back in the ring. Just in time. Oh, oh yes. Oh, dropkick. Springboard dropkick. I didn't even know you could do that. Huge fisherman suplex on Ahmed. Ahmed Johnson to sing double. What time am I getting back in the ring? Yeah. Top rope was a mistake. Oh, flying crossbody. Oh no, it was Max Handle. Gee, I'm sounding like Michael Cole. Don't know what the moves are anymore. Getting too excited. Yeah. 
Global Leaf, is it enough for Ahmed? Is it enough? I do like these two minute wins. They're really gonna help out. This is gonna be close. Oh, Ahmed's back up. Ahmed's back up. It's just like a knee to the. It's just like a knee low. Let's pick him up. Trying to get my power bomb. This could be the beginning of the end. Big body slam. He grabs him. Oh, let's go to the top rope. We haven't been to the top rope yet. Get up. He's a sitting duck. We could do an elbow drop, I think. Oh, big fist drop. Big fist drop. Stunner times. Oh, Ahmed's counted the stunner. He's counted the stunner. There we go. Stunner. Stone Cold Stunner. And that is all. Oh, hell yeah. Total blowout. Austin wins by blowout. Oh, hello, what's happening here? I saw your win tonight. Very impressive. I've got my eyes on you. Nineteen ninety eight graphics. Weapons? Why would I want a lousy piece of garbage like you ruining my good looks? On second thought, use whatever you can find, because I know how out of shape, bum, loser like you is going to need all the help you can get to beat the king of hearts. Another grudge match against that one. We've already had a grudge match against that one. Well, so we've, we've got the same match as before. The revolutionary... Well, we're just skipping to the start because we've seen this before. Him with the TV. Lock together. Uh oh, we're gonna see how quick this match can go. Let's see if we can get some sort of record. Let me get the bell. Throw some more weapons in the ring for me. Oh, there we go, TV. Rude neck breaker. Double underhook. Beautiful suplex. Getting ahead of myself. Forgotten how to wrestle properly. Still need to wrestle in here. Big DDT. It's hitting with the TV. Let's wait till he gets up. Oh no, he's pushed me, he's pushed me. Let's go to the TV. Not for the headbutt. Not for the Glasgow kiss. Two, three. Stone Cold Steve Austin in control. He's faring very, very well in there. They tangle. Steve Austin took him over with that. Owen Hart and the four are becoming best friends. All right, this time I'm not going to wait for him to get up. Just hit him with the TV on the floor. I'm not really sure why I put him in a hammerlock. But I did. Could have given him a move off the top. Can't have too much left. Another overhead suplex. Still move off the top rope. 
to a double stomp. Nope, did the piss drop. I was trying to do the double stomp. But I've got to look down and remember the controls because they're not simple. You have to press two buttons to do it. Alright, let's do the Cloverleaf. This could be it for Owen. That's it, Owen submitted, Owen submitted. <laughs> he just tapped out and he just leapt over the top rope. That is amazing. That is taking the, well, Jeff Jarrett, me off. Bret Hart dominates Marsh. What's Marsh doing up there? Where's Thrasher? Thrasher's not even on here. Steve Austin versus Farouk. Welcome to the War Zone. This capacity crowd is on their feet. Hello, everyone. I'm Vince McMahon. I'm Jim Ross. We are looking forward to a good old time slobber knocker. We are the nation. Farouk and his pack of thugs usually turn things into a handicap match. The WWF in no way condones Farouk's action. No karma, no d which is a bit sad in this game. Just Farouk and Rock. Austin is cold, calculating, and very, very focused. Austin hasn't got an ounce of quit in it. Big close line to start. Early million dollar dream. He's just all over it. Horns now. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Another million dollar dream early. Listen to this crowd. What's going on here? Well, I think Brick has ever saw Brick do it. Japanese arm drag, but he's done one here. Stomping mud holes, stomping mud holes. They hook it up. DDT. Baruch is trying to get to his feet. Oh, big leg jump on the back. I love it. Open it down. Hang on up now. Baruch is getting the worst of this one. Oh, he got me back with one. Oh, I went for the spine buster. Went for the spine buster. That didn't happen. Oh. Front atomic drop. He's not getting up. He's half grab, half grab, half grab. I think that good spine buster. Boys looks good. There it is. Boom. I got booed because I kept doing the same move. Oh, big double, big double stop, it didn't work, he was too far away. Low belief time. Kind of the go-to secondary finisher for Austin. Which means he can win a match in just over two minutes. Is it done? Burrick's done, total blowout. I want Farouk to do the handstand. Farouk should have stayed home today. We are the nation! Now 
I've learned my moves from the best teachers around, and now it's time for this my dear to teach you a thing or two. The grudge match against The Rock. It's generally always a hardcore match or a cage match. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. I'm Vince McMahon. And I'm good old JR. We have a great match for our fans tonight. We are the nation. Rocky's change of attitude may do him some good in the WWF. He's a student of the game and is really learning his craft. Steve Austin is the toughest SOB in the WWF. Austin has got an ounce of foot in it. Let's get started. Let's see if we can win in under two minutes. Well, there's some other weapons outside the ring. Maybe we'll use those. Oh, yeah, outside the ring. Oh, beautiful dropkick. Don't go back in, Rock. Don't go back in. Oh, Rock's got me. A huge DDT on the floor. Where's the other oh, weapons? It's a chair. And he didn't pick up the chair, which was really weird. Mixing it up. Alright, we can pick up the chair now. Rocky Mavia can't shake the Oh, he doesn't even fold it. And he didn't swing it. And the chair's gone. Shoulder breaker. All right, I hope you can appreciate that I'm trying something different. Whip into the rail. Go for another. Any other weapons? All right, let's look for some. I saw a table when I was doing a practice match before. There's no table here. Where's the table? Where's Devon? Devon! Get the table. Oh no. What was that? I was just trying to get the TV. Alright, we're back in the ring. We're back in the ring. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Sometimes they go into a bit of a blocking, like a block best. I should have used that to pick up a weapon, actually. The same few weapons in, but that's okay. We tried something different in this grudge match. Instead of just doing the same thing. I'll try and do a corner move as well, if I can, a bit later. He's blocking the bell, he's blocking the bell. Hang on, that was a pro kick. Discus close line. DDT on the bell. I know it wasn't really, but we're going to pretend it is because that's wrestling. Samoan drop. Rocky Mayavilla doesn't know where he is. What an opportunity for Steve Austin. Huge Samoan drop to the Samoan, the irony. Yeah, if they're close, they just kind of push you and you, you're trying to swing and it just doesn't work. I was trying to pick Rock up with him to the corner, but it didn't happen. Lay up a smack down. Yeah. Big back body drop. He ran right into that one. Oh. Right, maybe we can't quite get. Now in complete 
I'm moving the corner this time, but it'll be a Stone Cold Stunner time. Stunner! This is probably the longest match. Three and a half minutes. He's out of here. Awesome wins again. A total blowout every time. Mankind wins over The Rock. That didn't happen very often. It's going to be Austin versus Mosh. It is Austin versus Mosh. Welcome to the War Zone. This capacity crowd is on their feet. I'm Vince McMahon. And I'm good old JR. It ought to be a great matchup. Ring's about to become a mosh pit. He may not be high class, but he can sure kick ass. Steve Austin is one of the most dangerous men in the WWF today. Look at that ice cold stare in Austin's eye. The Mosh was in the WWF with Thrasher as the Headbangers, was also Beaver Cleavage for a couple of vignettes and then was Chaz, and was with D'Lo as Lowdown, which everyone's forgotten tag team, from the year 2000. How quickly can we beat Mosh? Now that was slick. He put the hurt on it. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Dude, we're hitting everything on Mosh. Mosh is getting everything. They hook it up. Mosh being dominated by Austin. What else would you expect? I'm range on Marsh. Marsh doesn't know where he is. Austin has a real opportunity here. Marsh is in trouble now. Marsh is in trouble early. Oh, headbutt back. Japanese arm drag. Was also so slow to get up. Drop to hold. Drop to hold. in under two minutes. I think we can. I think if we hit a couple other things, we should be able to tap him out. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Maybe we can do it with a clever leaf. This could be it. Under two minute victories that is the goal. There's someone you're going to do it to, it's probably Marsh. That's it, 1 minute 48, Austin is the winner. See ya Marsh. Oh, over the top rope. No, he didn't. I've already beaten all the WWF superstars. There's only one thing left for me to do on my quest for the title. Crush you like a bug and hear you scream under my foot. A grudge match against mankind. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation. For over 50 years, the dominating force in professional wrestling. Hello everyone, I'm Vince McMahon. I'm Jim Ross. We are looking forward to a good old time slobber knocker. Mankind is one deranged wrestler. He definitely walks a very thin line between sanity and insanity.
Steve Austin is the toughest SOB in the WWF. That man is pure rats. I wonder if that those vignettes in the Nintendo 64 version, because obviously they can have full motion video on the PlayStation because it's disc, so that's something I'm not really sure about. I'll have to look that up. Well, you might have to look that up yourself. I probably should know the answer. Maybe I'll look it up in between one of the matches. We've got a cage match though. We haven't had a cage match yet. So you can only climb out the cage once their health gets to uh, the red meter as well. You can climb up, but it just won't let you climb out. I'm pretty sure anyway. I haven't been able to figure it out. Maybe you can whip him against the cage. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Let's do some whipping into the cage. Oh, knee, to, knee, knee down low. Great throw. The photographers definitely will call that a keeper. They got me. There they go. This game is still really playable. But you kind of have to write down the controls. Like, I've always had to play this game where you pause it every couple of seconds to figure out what you want to do. It's really hard to memorize the moves. And you can just play it without looking at the menu screen. However, you end up doing the same moves and then you lose momentum and it makes the, makes the game a lot harder. I'm not sure how you're supposed to remember all these moves, to be honest. Try to decide belly to belly suplex. Mankind's got me. There we go. Belly to belly. Oh, he got me. So, if you are enjoying this video, I've got plenty of other wrestling videos on the channel as well. You can check them out. Lots of Royal Rumbles, Road to WrestleManias, pretty much everything. I managed to purchase a copy of. Or repurchase a copy of Shut Your Mouth today so I can finally play the story mode for that because it actually got stuck in my reverse compatible PS3 and it died and the disc is stuck in. I haven't been able to get another copy since. So I've been checking through my wrestling game playthroughs and wonder why I don't have Shut Your Mouth on there. Number one, because the season mode is about 15 hours long and number two, because it's stuck in a PlayStation 3 so I finally got another copy. And for some reason, in this cage match, I noticed this before, you do get some slowdown as well. If you do one of the holds. Or maybe if you're just in this corner. Mankind, the seeing stars. He's just a target now. Don't hold. That's not what I wanted. They lock horns. With him against the cage. I'll do a dive off the cage for you as well. Just why not? I might not get another cage match opportunity, so. I want to give him a power ball. This match might go for a little bit longer than it might need to, but that's okay. Oh, big pot. Power bomb. Get my fingers out of your mouth. Vertical suplex. The DDT. Listen to this capacity crowd. Well, let me do the spine buster. Spine buster is delightful. I haven't done any taunting either. I kind of forgot about taunting. I'll do a taunt next time he's down. Hey, Mankind proving the toughest opponent so far. I'll drop you on that stack of dimes you call a neck. Someone's going to get their ass whipped. Love it. Don't pay attention there. I was looking for the next move. Powerbomb almost into the cage. Got to be careful. It might move. It might move. Lose. There we go. Locking horns now. 
I was going for the stutter. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we'll do a dive. What should we do? Elbow drop? Big elbow off the cage from Austin. Got him. Driving elbows, oh, my God, he just punched me in the face. Stunner. There we go. And you climb up the cage using L2 and you just press down when you're ready. And Austin's the winner. Climbs down the cage. If they get up, they shake the cage angrily. But there's nothing they can do. Austin wins. Not by escape, but by total blowout. Where are we on the board? Owen beats Rock. Should be facing Bret Hart. We got one, two, three, four, five people to go. It's Steve Austin versus Bret Hart. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation. For over 50 years, the dominating force in professional wrestling. Hello, everyone. I'm Vince McMahon. I'm Jim Ross. This one's going to be a good old-fashioned barn burner. The leader of wrestling's first family, Bret the Hitman Hart. He's done it all. WWE. No sunglasses. Austin is cold, calculating, and very, very focused. Whether you like him or you hate him, you have to admire the guts of Steve Austin. Epic matches, Survivor Series 96. Everyone talks about the WrestleMania 13 match, but I really think that Survivor Series match is even better. So check it out. Survivor Series 96 it goes for about half an hour. It is incredible. I don't like blocking. Excellent of execution. Well, that just caught him. As they would say on wrestling, just grazed him. Just grazed him. Oh, oh, a headbutt. Why do I have a headbutt? Shocking for position. Perfect back and a fast gold nuts. I can hardly hear myself talk. Spine buster. Another fist drop. I can count it. Right out of the ring. Whoops, didn't do anything. Hop grab. Should put him in the sharpshooter. No, no, Red Hot doesn't know where he is. He's just a target now. Steve Austin looks no, no, unstoppable uh, now. He's uh, got a killer instinct. Uh, 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 oh, we'll have a good short clothesline. So nice, Wolf. Oh, Brett's got me. That's like so nice. I was going to do it twice. Boom, oh, there's another oh, one. I've got for a pin. One. Two. Just a two count. Only two. Million dollar dream, million dollar dream. I love the selling. Oh, that's it. He tapped him out to the million dollar dream. Unbelievable. Need to use that more often. Oh, take that, Bret Hart. Hart.
Another grudge match against mankind. Just having grudge matches against the same people. Should have grudge matches against people who weren't in there, like Ken Shamrock or Shawn Michaels or someone. There's a table. Yeah, we'll skip that. We've had this a couple of times. All right, let's go. Out. Let's just go straight out the ring. Oh no! Climb out. How do I hop down? There we go. Oh, huge axe handle. Right, I'm just going to stay out of the ring. I might do some taunts if he doesn't want to come out. Someone's going to get their ass whipped. Is that belly to belly? This is where I want to be. This is exactly where I want to be. Oh, it was the wrong way. Austin got me. I was trying to do the over the head belly to belly. We'll try and go here. It's got me again. I'll drive her on the floor. I'm trying to get in the right spot for a belly to belly overhead. Let's see if we can come back. Come back. Here's a tie up. Here they go. Oh, it's DDT. I thought it was going to be the overhead. It's not working. It's not working. I might have to give up on this. I'm getting pumped. I might lose. Don't want to lose. Maybe someone else knows how to go through the table. Being dominated by Mankind, especially in a hardcore match. That you need to check out is Austin versus Dude Love. Didn't really go to plan. Just hitting with weapons. The crowd is on its feet. Stone Cold Steve Austin has developed a huge following. And the collision. That's what happens when you step into the war zone. We are in the war zone. We're in the bell zone. That's what I was trying to do outside. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Trying to do this double stomp, which we didn't do before. Coup de gras, coup de gras. Oh no, oh no, oh no, straight to the... He went through the table. All right, we'll try this table thing one more time. Yes, perfect flex through the table. That's all I wanted to do. Alright, hold you. This is a slightly longer match than I wanted. Lock together. Floor power bomb. Extra headache number nine. So Vader did to him in WCW. Power bombed him on the concrete. Can you block a bell drop with your hands? Hit him with a TV. Probably wouldn't hurt getting hit with a modern TV. They're so thin. That's the way to do it. He's putting the smack down tonight. This crowd is definite. They can't get him up. He's funding the Why did I go to the top rope? Don't do that. Don't do that. Why did I do that for? I have no idea. Can I get him on the floor? Is it force count anywhere? I might check it out. I don't know. We'll try. It is false count anyway. Oh, he's got him! I didn't know that was false count anyway. This one's history. A very impressive win by Steve Austin. Mankind was outclassed from the start. Who got left? Oh, there's Shamrock. There's a couple of people are not in there. I'm sure Michaels is there too. Is that everyone? 
three, seven. There's only 12 people. There's definitely people who are in the game who are not in this. Next match is for the Intercontinental Championship. I want to read that again. I nearly missed it. It's Ken Shamrock, the Intercontinental Champion. The next match is for the Intercontinental Championship belt. Don't call it a belt, says Vince McMahon. Now, I'm 99% sure Shamrock won't come out with any sort of title. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. Hello, everyone. I'm Vince McMahon. I'm Jim Ross. It ought to be a great matchup. Ken Shamrock is the master of submission wrestling, the world's most dangerous man. I just never liked him in the colored trunks. I think if he just wore black trunks a bit like Austin, it would have been much better, in my opinion. I wish Shamrock would come back to the WWF, like even just for a Royal Rumble appearance or like a Legends Raw or something, because he's still wrestling, he's actually wrestling today, he took a lot of time off wrestling and then kind of came back to wrestling. Oh hell yeah! So wrestling in like TNA or Impact and then had like a tour to Australia. So he'd be, he'd be awesome in a Royal Rumble, but only if there's fans there. Don't take his ass whipping personally, son. Ah! Ah! Put an arm wrench in the game. That kind of it is is kind of like an arm lock. Hunt from Shamrock. Austin wearing him down, the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, I never liked the block. I probably should stop blocking. When you're facing an Intercontinental Champion. Million dollar fist drop. Belly from Jamrock. Steve Austin can't shake the cobwebs out. SDF, SDF. Jamrock not very too well there. He's hurt. No question about that. Austin just beat him like an egg. Here's the tie up. Top wrist lock, top wrist lock. Oh, Shamrock's all over me. What's happening? No, he can't get up. What was that weak clover leaf? Listen to this crowd. Do you give up? No. Do you give up? No. I believe him. I don't think he's, he's not going to tap out. The Shamrock submission will probably be five because you get attributes out of five. So I don't think he'll tap out. I'm probably going to have to give him the stunner. Am I facing the wrong way? Austin just fell up. He, he fell over. Luther's press. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. It'd be great if I could, you know, block something. They tangle. 
Someone can Listen get to their this ass with. crowd. They want more. And that's the bottom line. You, that stack of guns. you call Cole that. said so. One of the longer matches here in the story mode. I need to block. I need to learn how to block. There they go. The wrist lock. Let's go for the stunner. There's the stunner. He's hit the stunner out of nowhere. There's the Stone Cold Stunner. Take that, Shamrock. For the Intercontinental Championship. Two. Three. Austin's won it twice before. Oh, who was that in the ring? What happened there? What a one-sided match. Ken Shamrock got the ah, of his life. I see. When women had to come in to present you with titles. It does look like the Intercontinental Championship, though. Yeah, not great in 2021. Oh, cool. And we've got a magazine cover as well. WWF Raw. World Wrestling Federation. I don't know what that says there, but, oh, magazine. Oh, it's gone. Well, at least you could have paused that because I was trying to read it and I didn't press X or cross to continue. Here's the limo. Hey, rookie. I love to watch you wrestle. I hope you keep winning. We are nearing the top of the tree. There's just three people to go. Austin snatches a victory from Ken Shamrock. We've just got Gold Dust, Shawn Michaels, and The Undertaker to go. Undertaker is a good final boss. Austin versus Gold Dust. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation. For over 50 years, the dominating force in professional wrestling. I'm Vince McMahon. And I'm good old JR. What a matchup this will be. There's never been as bizarre individual as the golden one. Don't let looks fool you. He can punch your lights out at the drop of a hat. Steve Austin is one of the most dangerous men in the WWF today. Austin has got an ounce of foot in it. Luthers press to start, Luthers press. What a character still wrestling today in AEW as Dustin Rhodes. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Well, like on the independent circuit, once he was released from WWE, I think in the early 2000s, he was wrestling in England, um, and in independence, and he'd wrestle as Gold Dustin, which I thought was really clever. He wrestled for 1PW as well, if you remember that promotion from the UK. You'll probably only know of it if you lived in the UK at the time. Actually featured Sterling James Keenan as the champion who most people now know as Corey Graves. So he was pretty unknown in the US at the time, but brought over to the UK to be the champion of 1PW along with Alp Herman, Steve Perino. And I think, I don't know if Abyss was the champion, but Abyss was in a lot of the events. It's around 2000. Five, six times. Hey, no. Damn, it's brutal in here. Uh. Mm. So when I stop concentrating, as my uh, forget to kind of get a next room, get a next move ready. Uh. Oh, there's something in the corner. Here we go. Big belly to belly overhead. Hard to line them up as well. But Austin doing well. We're nearly the, we're nearly at the end of this story mode. Half oh, crab for crab man. That'd be my finisher. For half crab. Need to learn to block. 
I know it's cross, but I'm just not doing it. Give him the leg. Look at all the Steve Maniacs in ECW are running wild. What you gonna do, brother? When Steve Omania runs wild on you. We've been reversed, we've been reversed. Cover clutch, cover clutch. I'm mean, not gonna quite tap out gold dust. Well, that was close. I reckon if we gave him the clover leaf, he would submit. Huge power bomb. Another power bomb. Alright, cleverly, cleverly, cleverly. Gold Dust is in the house of pain. We did team a Gold Dust on pay per view in Canadian Stampede. That's it, Gold Dust is done. With Shamrock and the Legion of Doom. And the match is over. That was an impressive win. There was never any question about this one. To take on the Heart Foundation in your house 16 Canadian Stampede. What a match that is. Go watch that. That's awesome. First of all, let's get one thing straight. There is no one that can do what I can in the ring. You can take all those backstabbing hyenas and line them up, and none of them can beat me fair and square on my worst day. You're no different from any of them, and you're about to be excellently executed. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. I'm Vince McMahon. And I'm good old JR. We are looking forward to a good old time slobber knocker. Once a hero in the WWF, now Bret Hart is the spot. This isn't about popularity. He's the king of the hill. Austin is cold, calculating, and very, very focused. Look at that ice cold stare, Austin. It's Austin and Bret Hart in a steel cage. Where did I find that chest go in and out of that opening scene? Oh, amazing. Alright, we'll see how quick we can go. See, Bret Hart just doesn't let you wail away. Bret the Hitman Hart oh, is down. Oh. Yeah, I'd definitely check out that Survivor Series 96 match because everyone's seen that WrestleMania match. But the Survivor Series match kind of gets forgotten. It does. People just forget about it. Take his ass whipping personally, son. Oh, all right. This doesn't really have a drop kick. This got some different kicks. Oh, gee. I must have too much time to too much time to think of what to do. Him into the cage. Got some Owen drops. We'll give him a Samoan drop back of his own. Take that. And a gut wrench. We'll give him a gut wrench. He 
stays down. Steve Harkin has him at his mercy. Bret Hart is in trouble now. This could be the beginning of the end. There they go. Bret Hart in trouble. They tangle. Oh, I don't think I can go out the cage. I don't think it was damaged enough. I'll do a dive off the cage. Let's do an elbow drop. Love it. There we go. It's damaged him. Oh, it's going to hit him with stunner. Reverse. 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 Into a stunner. Oh, no. Rat. Hound keeps countering the stunner. I'll get it on eventually. Oh, there we go. Nope. Steve Austin can't get up. Steve Austin is struggling. Steve Austin putting the hurt on. If he keeps this up, this match is over. He grabs him. Oh no. He still can't hit with a stunner. This is the most times it's been counted. I only have to, like, <laughs> I have to stun him as in not give him the stunner, but... Every time I go for it, he just counters it. Maybe because his technical is so high. Let me just punch him till he's stunned. Alright, we'll just beat him with the Fisherman Suplex. He's That'll do. All the stops for this match. Down we go. Steve Austin wins. The commentary from JR. Or well, Jerry, or oh, not Jerry Lawler. <laughs> Vince McMahon. Closing in on the WWF Championship, Ahmed defeats Mankind. It's Austin versus Michaels, WrestleMania 14. Welcome to the War Zone. This capacity crowd is on their feet. Hello everyone, I'm Vince McMahon. I'm Jim Ross. We have a great match for our fans tonight. Are you ready? Shawn Michaels is a giant killer, if you will. Shawn Michaels may be cocky, but he can back it up. You think that you... Austin is cold, calculating, and very, very focused. Whether you like him or you hate him, you have to admire the guts of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The interesting thing from WrestleMania 14 as well, if you notice on Austin's entrance, he's looking really annoyed. It's because he left his leather jacket at home and just had to wear one of his t-shirts to the ring for like the biggest match of his career so he's really upset with himself we only have one of those jackets Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass oh loads of block we only have two matches left don't need to learn a block now Shawn Michaels the seeing stars ah. Dinlock no 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 uh. Uh. I got poor taste Oh, Hurricane Rana. Steve Austin easing up a bit. Yeah. Arm drag. Oh, he's blocked that. He's blocked. He's blocking Let's everything. They tangle. Brain Buster. Down. I think these matches do you a little bit harder as you go. Nice. And the fans go nuts. They told Steve Austin has developed a huge fight. Austin 316 says I just no, 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 no. Beautiful wrestling from Austin.
You know, I don't really use these ducking out the way things either. You can. Probably would help. Big slam. Nice DDT. Shawn Michaels is down. His eyes are glazed over. And Austin's just fallen over. Cobra clutch. Cobra clutch. Cobra clutch. No, 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 no. No, 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 that's no, it, that's no. it, that's it, he's beaten him. He's beaten, he's beaten Shawn Michaels with the Cobra Clutch. With a million dollar dream. The Austin wins. Over. A one-sided victory for Steve Austin. Shawn Michaels really took a beating tonight. What's happening here? I think we've just got one match to go. Oh, I have something to give you. No one can carry the Federation on his back like I have. Not even you, you dirty piece of trash. The problem with this world is that people like you are turned into heroes by this sick society. Being the man that I am, I accept your challenge, and I'll be able to prove that you are worthless. Not gonna lie, those words hurt a little bit. It's another grudge match. This must be our last grudge match before facing Undertaker. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. We've seen these entrances a few times. Let's just get to the match. Oh no, it's counted. He's staggering around. Oh, take that right out. No much countering from Bret Hart. I think perfect flex, which for some reason is one of the easiest moves to do. All you have to do is press circle. Line. Red Hart Can't block it now. He grabs it. Into the cage. Rage in the cage. Steve Austin now in complete control. He's going for the kill. No, no. The capacity crowd comes alive. I can hardly hear myself talk. I still haven't to block. I probably won't bother now. Let's see a Bret Hart backbreaker. Half grab, half grab, half grab. Stick the, stick the punching and kicking. Let's get it on. <laughs> oh, count it, count it the DDT into a northern light suplex. The fans are raising the roof. They're showing their true. They're both of a short arm scissors. Something of a short arm scissors or an arm bar. It's not really anything, you just sat on me. 
I'm gonna make this match quick, it's not happened. Oh, another normal one, two, three, you blink and everything changes. Locking horns now. Oh, power bomb, that should be enough. It's enough. It's enough to win. I'm not gonna try and stun Bret Hart, it just doesn't work. That's it, Bret Hart is defeated. Austin moves on to the WWF Championship match against The Undertaker. We are at the top of the mountain. The rock wipes the floor with mankind. I'm going to see what it says because it should say WWF Championship match. Bret Hart wins a hard fought battle with gold dust. Gee, look at Rock and Mankind. The next match is for the championship belt. Here we are, folks, for the WWF Championship Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Undertaker. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation. For over 50 years, the dominating force in professional wrestling. I'm Vince McMahon. I'm Jim Ross. This one's going to be a good old-fashioned barn burner. You can feel the chill in the air as the Undertaker enters the ring. That tombstone will seal your doom. This is the quickest Undertaker entrance ever. Austin hasn't got a hand to quit in it. Will Austin be victorious? Battled The Undertaker many times. Undertaker did defeat Stone Cold Steve Austin once for the WWF Championship. When Shane McMahon was the special guest referee. <laughs> Gee, I'm not quite sure about Undertaker's selling here. Let's go with a hammerlock early. Yeah, the Undertaker grunting is a bit off-putting. Steve Austin, large in charge. He smells a victory here. There they go. Oh, choke slam early. It's a choke slam early. Where did that come from? Austin hitting out all the technical wrestling. Locked together. Into no. Could be a running move into the corner. Didn't work out that way though. Counted by the Undertaker, big back body drop. What's up with this crowd? I could be in there and wrestle with fans like these. And that's the bottom line. The Stone Cold sets out. He's not getting up. He can't even. Oh, it's time for a dive. Fell over, Austin fell over. Oh, wreck at the eyes. The Undertaker is seeing double. Austin has a real opportunity here. Go for the loop, there's press. Just not working on the Undertaker. He just won't oh, be Fez pressed. Now he's Fez pressed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Austin 316 says, I just whipped your ass. Side, belly to belly suplex. Jockeying for position. Uh, uh. Locked together. Uh. Undertaker no, has been stunned. Undertaker has been stunned. Uh. Dragon Sleeper. Uh. It's Taker's TCB taking uh. care of business. Submission hold. 
I think there's only one way that this can be resolved, and it was with a Stone Cold Stunner. This could be it. Stone Cold said so. It was the stunner. He's forgotten how to do the Stone Cold stunner. He could be being moments away from becoming the WWE WWF champion. No, it's a choke slam. It's a big choke slam. And Stone Cold is stunned. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, give him a stunner. I can't watch. Tell me when this is over. There it is, Stone Cold Stunner, but he gets back up because it's the end of the stun, which is always weird. They hook it up. Steve Austin clearly in control now. If he keeps this up, this match is over. Turn it the stunner. There we go, there's the stunner, there's the stunner, that's it. The Stone Cold Stunner, Stone Cold's gonna become champion. Austin's the champion! Austin's the champion! Austin's the champion! Steve Austin wins the WWF Championship. At least it kind of looks like the WWF Championship. The Winged Eagle. Austin's flexing like Hogan. What you gonna do, brother, when Steve Amania runs wild on you? World Champion Conquers, Strips Defenders title, official ratings number one, see photos inside in the WWF magazine, exclusive cage match results. It's been Crabman from Crabman Gaming. Hey champ, your chariot awaits. Is that or is there anything else or do I just... Austin easily defeats Undertaker. It wasn't easy to win the championship belt. Do we defend the title now or is that it? I don't know.